Sup y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and yesterday was the day that a lot of the PvP rewards went out for the first season of Legion. So that's like Gladiator titles, Gladiator Mounts, Hero of the Alliance titles, Duelist titles, Rival titles, Challenge titles, all of that stuff all went out yesterday, minus rank 1 titles, and people are not very happy with the distribution. There are a lot of people who thought that they were going to be getting Gladiator, who ended up only getting Duelist. And for your boy, I thought I was going to be getting Duelist, and I ended up only getting Rival. Now to me, I don't care which of the two titles that I do get, but what is important to note here is that this was unexpected because Blizzard doesn't have any sort of an official place where you can just go see. You type in your rating and it tells you, hey, you're going to be a duelist, you're going to be a gladiator. So there's no way to tell what obviously the cutoffs are going to be. There are just a bunch of third-party websites like ArenaMate that pretty much just aggregate the information together and up until now have actually been pretty accurate in determining and predicting what people's ratings are going to be. So it's very, it came as a huge surprise to everybody whenever people thought that they were going to log on with one title and they didn't. And if you guys don't understand why this is such a big deal to a lot of people, imagine, imagine that a lot of people, you go in, you have your title, you know what your rating is, and you're like, okay, I'm going to be a gladiator, okay? And you log off that day, you sleep tight, you sleep really, really well, you're so happy, you're going to log on, you're going to have that new Storm Drake, you're going to have that title, you're going to look awesome. And you log on and you're a fucking duelist. Merry Christmas. Of course that's going to suck. Of course you're going to be mad. Of course you're going to be frustrated. Of course you're going to make forum posts about it. You're furious. You wasted two months of your time. Especially on something that you thought was a sure thing based on years. Literally years of a surety. And it can be frustrating to so many people. And uh, I'm really sad to see this happening. I think that there are a couple of reasons why it could have happened. So one of the reasons obviously is it could have been a bug. Another reason is they changed the way they calculate the titles. I think that's really kind of what happened. And also the third reason is something that even if the first two reasons were, were, were the actual reason, I think the third reason does have something to do with it too, is that there has been a reduction in the amount of people that are participating in PvP. There have been a lot of times I've queued up threes at like 2k rating, and and that's, that's, that's like not really standard, but I mean that's relatively standard. And there have only been like one team that I'm queuing up against 10 times in a row. It's, it's ridiculous. So I think a lot of people have stopped doing PvP. And so anyway, uh, obviously, there's a lot of MAD. So Blizzard came out with a statement, and they responded to that MAD yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and read it out to you guys right now. Hey all, we wanted to clarify a couple points surrounding the end of recent season PvP. First, the people who are eligible for the Vindictive Gladiator, that's the rank 1 title, uh, will not receive their title until after the holidays. There is currently an issue with the delivery of the title, and we will be looking at this over the coming weeks. Second, we are currently looking into the number of titles that have been handed out to make sure that they match our expectations. Well, they certainly didn't match everybody else's. Uh, we will be reviewing the rewards process in this past season's data over the next few weeks. We expect to have more information for you in early January. We would like to apologize to the players' impacted by this as this was never our intention to disrupt the PvP community in such a way. We look forward to addressing more of these issues sooner rather than later so the future seasons can go on undisrupted. Happy Holidays! All right, so anyway, I, I'm not really going to try and shit on uh, Ornex who, who made this post because it's like he's not, he's a community manager, right? He's not a developer. Like, he's got to wait for the developers to come back off of holidays. I mean, like, Christmas is tomorrow, so obviously a lot of people aren't there right now. So they told people basically hold tight and we'll be able to sort this out, and hopefully that's what happens. But I really just don't know. I think that a lot of people are not really playing a lot of PvP and Legion for a number of reasons. Uh, there is very, very little reason rewards that you get out of PvP. I remember back in the day, uh, and, and what I'm really trying to get at here is the deterministic value of rewards, like the value of deterministic rewards here. So you can go on in PvP, one of the big appeals to that is that you could, if I knew, I would come home from school and I would farm and I would play PvP for a certain amount of hours and that would give me a certain piece. That bond and that connection has been broken with all the RNG Skinner boxes. So what it is, like I remember this very clearly, I got, I think I got, I was on statistics test I got a statistics test back and it was graded it was a 39 out of 100 okay and I looked at it and I was like this you know why 
because I knew I was going to come home and get my Season 4 Brutal Gladiators Bone Grinder, the weapon in Season 4, and I had that assurity. And I think that a lot of people like that assurity, and Blizzard is just completely shit on that. And on top of the assurity, they have all of these other RNG elements like Titan Forging and everything. And even though gear doesn't play that big of a part in PvP now, it still has something to do with it. So they've been trying to achieve this gray area, and in between, like, obviously, two different extremes. So, like, one would be everybody is completely equalized. Uh, you know, there's nothing you can do to change your stats. Everybody goes in 100% the same, and that's one way to do it, like a MOBA or like Overwatch, right? And then another way is everybody goes in there with exactly the gear that they have, just like World PvP, and it's pretty much a shit show, just like it was in Vanilla and Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King all the way up until I think uh, I, I think until whenever they equalized all the stats which was like I think like War Road's Drainer so what kind of happens here is I feel, and I was talking about this yesterday on my stream, is that I feel like PvP has always worked in a lot of ways like being uh, a Sith Lord okay? Let's follow, listen. So in the, in the Sith, like in the, the Star Wars mythology of the game, there's the idea of the rule of two, right? There's the master and the apprentice. The master wields the power and the apprentice covets the power. The apprentice uh, uh, yield, yearns, he wants the power, right? So the apprentice eventually kills the master and takes the power. So the way this worked in WoW is that you, I would queue up, right? I'd be like level 51 or I'd be like low level and I would play up against somebody who had just amazing fucking gear and I'd just get stomped like a little baby seal and I was the apprentice okay and he was the master and I would work hard I would play a lot to where I could get up to the point where I was the master and then I could do the same thing to other people and so because there's not that same want and knowing that you can get to that same point the problems with balance are exacerbated a lot more right because you don't know you can't just out gear it right you have to just deal with it and a lot of the other stuff it feels just like it feels like a very flat experience I, I don't really feel like I'm progressing in, in PvP. Uh, back in the day, I would feel really good whenever I could buy a new piece. Whenever I'm just randomly given one, I, I don't feel that same way. I think a lot of people feel that way. And it's very frustrating to see what they've done to it, and I think that because of that, they've decreased the amount of participation in PvP by a huge degree. And it seems to me like ever since Wrath of Lich King or Cataclysm, mostly Cataclysm, Blizzard has just completely dropped the ball on dealing with PvP. Uh, you have people who are just cheating in PvP all the time, and I'm not talking about maybe like, uh, you know, like changing their characters to do like a million damage every attack or something, but I mean, there are like, there are streamers, there are very popular streamers, like for World of Warcraft, just go on Twitch now. Um, there are people who are very popular partnered streamers with Twitch TV, and they have advertisements on their screen on your screen about boosting services for PvP and that stuff hurts. It's a, it's a zero-sum environment. There's only so many people that can get gladiator titles. So whenever one person doesn't get a gladiator title, that's because another person does. And so whenever somebody gets a gladiator title because they paid some fucking kid $30, or not $30, but like $200, $300 to get a gladiator title, that hurts real players. And Blizzard has just done nothing about this. They just don't care. And it's really sad to see the, you know, everybody wants to play in a fair, competitive environment where everybody at least has the option and the ability to achieve something and people can't take, you know, out of game currency or the resources out of game and just use that to achieve and get things that other people can't. Like, people don't really, that doesn't make you feel good whenever you lose to that. And Blizzard just has done nothing about it. And I don't really know what they're planning on doing with PvP, but it seems like, uh, you know, the the gameplay, like the amount of stuns and CC, especially stuns in the game, is way too much. And just the whole thing in general, it seems like they just really are trying to just make PvP players happy without actually making the system any better. And as a former, you know, like 100% pvp -er, this is kind of disappointing for me to see. Sometimes I like to go into a BG or do some arena and have some fun, and that fun and that type of rewards that I had that I could look forward to are no longer exist. And I feel like if Blizzard was able to add some of that stuff back into the game and give people a 
more rewards in PvP, right? Rather than just end of season rewards, more rewards that I, I think people would enjoy it a lot more. And uh, there are just so many things wrong with PvP right now. I, I wouldn't be surprised if obviously there was a really big bug with how the rewards were distributed, but also I wouldn't also be surprised that if a lot of people aren't playing PvP as much. So if you guys uh, are in the same situation, I'd like to hear about it. If you love Legion PvP, I'd like to hear about it. Uh, pretty much whatever, like I, I'm i not really a very big part of the PvP community anymore. So I'm kind of, I don't know, like, I'm I kind of, I'm, I'm not really, I'm an outsider. So I don't really know what people are thinking. So if you do a lot of PvP or whatever, I, I'd be very curious to hear what you guys have to think because uh, to me, it just seems like a complete shit show, but uh, I'd be curious to hear what other people have to say. So go ahead and let me know, but thanks for watching, and like, comment, and subscribe.